Hey guys, welcome to the video. This video is going to be your typical 1000 subscriber special Q&A, but it's also going to be a celebration of the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. So this video is going to be kind of different than my usual video because I'm actually going to go off script for once. <laughs> And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like for a Q&A, I kind of have to be more, uh, I guess, genuine. Uh, I feel like sitting in front of a script while doing a Q&A just, just feels so unnatural. Hopefully this isn't too long, though, because uh, some of my older subscribers know that my last video that was unscripted was about 18 minutes long, and I had to unlist it because it was so bad. If you find this video to be really boring, then that's fine. Hopefully the next video will be more fun to watch, but I just really wanted to make this video uh, because I'm also going to thank some people at the end and stuff, but I also want to answer your question because I've always wanted to make a Q&A and I thought now would be a good time to do it. Pretty much the perfect time. So I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me questions and I said you can ask me literally, literally anything. anything. So uh, we might get some interesting questions, we might get some really weird questions. But before I read the Twitter ones, I feel like I have to read a YouTube one first. If you're aware of my Club Penguin video, you'll know why once you see it. So a very popular question I've been getting lately is, I picked one out completely randomly. Uh, this one is from Red Fox. He asked, Club Penguin Rewritten became a thing, have you heard of it? And the answer is yes, I have heard of Club Penguin Rewritten. Hell, I heard about it in the comment section of my own YouTube video. And since then, I've been pretty much getting this question daily, at least twice a day. So to answer the question to any of you who are curious, I know what it is. It looks pretty cool, and I might even make a video on it. So <laughs> you can you can stop asking. All right, so that was basically it. I'm sorry if you asked any other questions on YouTube. If I didn't answer your question in this video, feel free to ask me a question in the comment section below, and I'll probably see it so but yeah without further ado let's uh read these questions and give some some great answers oh boy so the first question is a pretty good one have you watched any of the following shows uh this question is from glitchy shadow gravity falls steven universe star vs the forces of evil gravity falls i have watched is a very cool show steven universe i liked but i'll probably be burned at the stake for saying that i haven't watched the entire show yet i've kind of skipped around seasons I, I do like a lot of the songs in the show and stuff but i don't understand the lore too much yet so i, I really got to go back to the first episode and just watch it all the third show i've heard of but i've never seen it uh, i might check it out it sounds pretty interesting but the first two shows i've i've seen the next question uh when does a meme become dead uh this question is from epic doggy uh i guess whenever people get tired of it it's like it's like any joke really uh i don't know i, I guess there's like some jokes like my name jeff and damn daniel is like my name jeff how <laughs> funny like it just comes back from the grave constantly and it never quite dies I, I guess, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not an expert. Opinion of Rick and Morty, it looks very cool. Season 3 looks very cool, I'm very excited, I love it, it's a great show. Uh, thumbs up, you can't see my thumb, because I'm not doing a face cam. I don't know why, I didn't shower. That question was from Natri... Boutina? Not sure, Boutina. <laughs> and this one is from Reed Hyde or Gabin XX. Uh, do penguins really eat fish? The answer is yes. I fucking love fish. Alright, so I got this question from Mystic Logan 27 Spanglish Horse, very good artist, and L Animates or Ghastly. The question is basically what my favorite video game or video games are. Uh, I, it's, it's really hard for me to make like a top 5 list or anything because I've played so many video games as a kid and growing up. Um, I guess if I had... No. I can't choose a favorite. I guess my favorite platformer would be a tie between like Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Uh, I love the Sly Cooper games uh, a little, little too much. And Conker's Bad Fur Day is a really good one. Banjo Kazooie. I kind of like Conker's Bad Fur Day a little better. Uh, I like most of the Legend of Zelda games. Breath of the Wild is absolutely incredible. It's, it's just very amazing. It's very fun. But I also really like Twilight Princess and uh, Wind Waker. You probably never heard of Pac-Man World 2. <laughs> that was a very fun game I used to play when I was a kid. So many games. Skyrim, Portal 2. I fucking love Portal 2. It's so good. I probably missed a lot of games, but I've played so many games I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. There's your answer. I like video games. <laughs> Next question. How long do you think your channel will go on for? I don't know. Your opinion on the My Name Jeff meme? My name Jeff. Suggestions for a microphone for recording. Uh, I'm currently using a blue Yeti, so if you think that sounds good, uh, feel free to just put a sock on it. I, I literally put a white sock over my microphone. If money was not a problem, what job would you like to do for the rest of your life? This question is from Connected. I don't know. I guess 
I would just do whatever I want. If money wasn't a problem, I would just chill. Maybe I'd make music, I'd, maybe I'd keep doing YouTube, uh, whatever's fun. Even if I was making all the money in the world, I, st I would still kind of want to do something. B Trickster or a Little Cookie asks, how is a furry's life like? How, how'd, you, how'd you know? Uh, how, how did you know? Cookie Dude asks, do you think your videos have improved since you first started doing YouTube? And Pinely kindly responded with my... <laughs> oh lord. But really at this point, I hate this franchise. I am sick of seeing Five Nights at Freddy's everywhere. Honestly, this might sound egotistical, but I absolutely do think I have improved since then. My old videos were awful, uh, especially the B-movie review was absolutely atrocious. Um, but I do think I've improved, I think it's always good that if you're kind of feeling demotivated, whether it's like literally anything, art, music, YouTube, anything, just keep working at it, keep improving, uh, never stay at the same level, always try to find ways to improve, whether it's just a new microphone or a new software, just don't give up, believe in yourself. Motivation. <laughs> this question, do you like Oreos? Uh, this question is from Quiver. Yes, I do. The double stuffed Oreos are very, very delicious. This question is from A Glass of Whiskey. How does it feel to have this much support and this much of a following? Well, I don't think I have that big of a following, but I think the support lately has been really nice. I'm extremely grateful for all the support. I don't want to sound generic, but it's it's very nice, and thank you very much. Uh, especially, I especially like that you guys uh, helped my friend out uh, on Twitter a while ago. It, it really shows that you guys care about me and, uh, uh for my friends, which is really nice. Uh, Lambda, Ada Ada Delota, and Unknown Shadow ask, who are, were your inspirations? What, who motivated you? Who inspired you most in your video making? I guess, I know there was a lot of drama surrounding this particular person I'm about to mention, but I would have to say Zapdi really inspired me. Before I knew about his personal life, I really thought his videos were very good. I thought he had a very good way of presenting himself, and I kind of wanted to do the same thing. As well as, I'd say, like, I don't know, Pyrocynical, and basically a lot of commentators that just do a good job. Uh, I kind of wanted to do that too. I thought it'd be fun. Pinely asks, what tips do you have for smaller content? Uh, fuck off, Pinely. Okay, seriously though, if you're a smaller creator, um, I guess the best advice is to just, like I said earlier, just keep improving, uh, share your videos with your friends, and, uh, never give up. <laughs> seriously though, Pinely, the, the amount of effort you put into your videos, one of your videos probably has more effort than all the effort I've put into my entire channel, so. The Megadeth 1000 asks, can you tell everyone to subscribe to the best channel on YouTube, One Man Vivo. Yes, I can. Subscribe to the best channel on YouTube, One Man Vivo. <laughs> Silential asks, what are the secrets behind being so happy all the time? I wish I knew. Starbeam asks, what were your favorite TV shows growing up as a kid? I'd have to say basically everything on Nickelodeon in the early 2000s. I don't know, here, here's just a bunch of them up on screen right now. I can't think of any right now. <laughs> like like Rocco's Modern Life and stuff. Those are the kind of shows I grew up with those. Nickelodeon was almost always on. Jovian asks, what was the origin behind your username and your penguin Sona? Well, if you're expecting a very detailed origin story, uh, the epic tale of uh, me, um, uh, how I got my name. It's... So what, what I did is I, I really like penguins, right? And I wanted a name that kind of sounded like Pyrocynical. Uh, I'm not joking, folks. This is the truth. Uh, I wanted a name like Pyrocynical, so I looked up, like, suffixes for for like hours until I finally found Isitis. I think it's kind of a pain in the ass though because half the people who read it can't pronounce it, and the people who do pronounce it say I sound like a disease, so... <laughs> That's really sad, I know. Stay tuned asks, what made you want to start your YouTube channel? Basically, I just thought YouTube would be really fun to do. Uh, I really wanted to gain an audience because I've tried so many things in the past. I've tried, uh, I've tried animating, I've tried game developing, web design, programming. I I've tried literally everything until finally I sat down and realized I've been editing for almost eight years now and I decided I really want to do YouTube videos and then I did. Chalope asks, who is your favorite YouTuber in the 340, 350 subscriber range? Okay. I can't think of anyone else besides you. I, I would make a joke, but you're the only person I know, so I'm gonna say you. <laughs> uh, you got you got a good channel, dude. Uh, you're cool. Mr. Tempest asks, what are your favorite pizza toppings? And I've been hearing a rumor that you're asking this question on every Q&A ever. <laughs> um, but I don't care, it's a, it's a cool question, I like it. I guess I'd have to say sausage? Meat lovers? I'm, I'm not gay. Uh, John Larson asks, Thoughts on pineapple on pizza? Well, I'm pretty sure Zaoglu answered this question pretty well in a previous video of his, so I'll just- Fuck pineapple on pizza. Stupid. I don't want it. Zaoglu asks, how are you so hot? I don't know. 
<laughs> Ryan asks, what's your favorite Sly Cooper line? I probably, I don't remember the quote exactly, but it's something along the lines of like, uh, Carmelita, uh, comes up to him and is like, oh, uh, you're, you're a criminal. And he's like, I haven't stolen anything yet. Spectacoo asks, how did you and Zalgalu meet? Basically, we were put into a group chat for some reason and we met and we talked a lot and a lot of stuff happened. Fire Sale asks, facts about ice. Uh, did, did you know that it melts? What, what, what is this question? <laughs> I, um, put, put water in a container and it, and it freezes. Um, did, did, wow. Um, amazing. Um, uh, facts about ice. Um, subscribe. <laughs> and finally, a question from Puppy or Alt Puppy. Who are you? That's a very interesting question, because I don't think anyone really knows who we are. I know you don't know me, and I don't know you, but this is a question that humanity has been asking for thousands of years. The age-old question of who are we? What is our purpose? Why do we exist? And most importantly, why are some people circumcised and other people aren't? These are all questions that mankind will probably never answer, but it's interesting to ponder about, you know? Alright, so I think that kind of wraps up the Q&A. If your question did get answered once again, you can ask me on Twitter, Discord, YouTube comments. I'll probably see it, and uh, I'll answer your questions through those sources. But I appreciate your time if you've watched this video. If you're still here, there's quite a few people I want to thank for making this possible. First person I have to thank is my friend Peter. He doesn't have a YouTube or anything as far as I know, but he's a friend from school. He was one of the first people to kind of give me motivation to keep doing my channel when it only had like 25 subscribers. Second person I want to thank is Christina Wonders. She made the first ever character poses ever featured on the channel. While they're a little outdated now, her art has improved so fucking much. I, like, honestly, please go check out her stuff. Like, some of the stuff she's been making recently is absolutely incredible. Follow her on YouTube, uh, Twitter, DeviantArt. Just follow her. She's improved so much. I also want to thank all the musicians who have allowed me to use their music, like Shara X, The Musical Ghost, Rusty, Northbound, Ivory, uh, er Kevin McLeod. I also want to thank all the people who have made art of me or for me, like the side character stills made by Lord Bung himself, and then the current ones I'm using that were made by Fairy Artery, and just all the people who have been making like fan art recently, made by people like Jalvian, Bitterkin, Stay Tunes, Cookie, Pika Derp, Lambda, Artist Charles, Gensnarl, so many more. It honestly means a lot and was a big motivator to push myself to make more content and I guess improve myself to be even half as talented as some of the artists who have made stuff for me that I always felt like I didn't quite deserve. And finally, I want to thank Zaugalu. Zaugalu has honestly helped me so much in so many ways, not only in content creation, but also being a very good friend, being super close to me recently. We spend a lot of time editing our videos together, talking pretty much day and night, doing collabs. Hell, he even convinced me to do the Club Penguin video that I almost didn't do, and it's basically a reason why I could even say I have a thousand subs on the one year anniversary of my channel. He's honestly done so much for me, and if you haven't checked him out yet, please do so. He makes really cool content, he's extremely passionate about his YouTube channel, he just dedicates so much time and effort to uploading every week. I honestly love him and appreciate everything he's done for me. He's also been the guy in my live streams every week, so please go check him out if you haven't yet. Thank you so much. Honestly, I can't help it if I sound cheesy when I say what I'm about to say, but I want to thank you. Uh, even if you're a new subscriber, if you've been following me since the beginning, thank you so much. I know some people might think that a thousand subscribers is not that big of a number, not that big of a deal, but for me, I never thought I'd get more than 500, so getting past that number is incredible to me, and it's incredible how many people I've met. I've met so many nice people on Discord and Twitter ever since I made my channel, ever since I made my name. It's it's just really cool. I, I've met so many nice supportive people thanks to my YouTube channel and this last year has been has been really cool. I, I don't know what else to say. All I can say is thank you so much if you're watching this video right now and you're, you watch the whole video. I appreciate it so much. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Hopefully we can hit two thousand, maybe? If not, I'm just happy that I could hit a thousand because that number to me personally is incredible so thank you so much. I think that's about it for this video. Before this video ends, I want to mention that I am currently doing a podcast with my friends Jalvian, Zaugalu, and John Larson called The Cooncast. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe to it in the description. It might be a weekly thing, we don't know. But just a warning, there's really no limits to what we'll say on this podcast, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. That's all I have to say for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to follow me on Twitter or talk to me on Discord or you want to check out the podcast, all of those links are in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good vibes, everyone. Oh, yeah, I almost.
almost forgot, uh, about eight months ago, I made a promise to a friend that I'd show his really cringy video uh, if I ever got a thousand subs. Uh, so here's a few seconds of that video. 